Bitcoin and cryptocurrency prices have struggled this year, with the Federal Reserve's plan to increase rates and potentially trim its balance sheet spooking investors. The Bitcoin price has lost around 40% of its value since hitting an all-time high of nearly $70,000 per Bitcoin in November. Smaller cryptocurrencies, including Ethereum, BNB, XRP, Solana, Cardano, Luna, and Avalanche have also fallen back. Some are even on track to break records in 2022. But what should we expect of Bitcoin this year? Stay tuned to find out. Indeed, it's been a rocky start to the year for Bitcoin, but experts still claim that it'll hit $100,000 and that it's more of a matter of when, if not. Bitcoin prices plunged below $40,000 as investors wrestled with concerns over rising inflation, geopolitical tension, and the possibility of tighter monetary policy by the U.S. Federal Reserve. The crypto market has increasingly monitored the stock market in recent months, making it even more intertwined with global economic factors, such as those stemming from Russia's war in Ukraine. Minutes from the Fed's March meeting showed its plan to cut its balance sheet by $95 billion each month to curb inflation. Additionally, the latest inflation report indicated that consumer prices rose 8.5% in the year through March. With no end in sight, the war, inflation, and changing monetary policy in the U.S. will likely continue to drive more volatility in the coming weeks and months, experts say. The overall market has noticed the high correlation to Bitcoin and the general equities market. The S&P 500 and NASDAQ have had the largest correlations to Bitcoin with 0.88% and 0.91% respectively. A correlation of one means that they move equally one to the other, says Armando Aguilar, head of Alternative Strategies and Research for Leddit, a digital asset saving and credit platform. Bitcoin has only been above $45,000 for a few short stretches over the past four months and hasn't gone above $50,000 since December 25, 2021. Still, Bitcoin has stayed above its six-month low, below $34,000 in late January. Amid the ups and downs, Bitcoin's current price is a long way off from the latest all-time high it hit in November when it went over $68,000. But even with a recent decline in price, Bitcoin is still more than twice as valuable as it was two years ago. For Bitcoin, these kinds of ups and downs are nothing new. Despite the volatility and recent falling price, many experts still claim that Bitcoin is on its way to passing the $100,000 mark, though with varying options on exactly when that will happen. And a recent study by Deutsche Bank found that about a quarter of Bitcoin investors believe Bitcoin prices will be over $110,000 in five years. The volatility is nothing new and is a big reason experts advise new crypto investors to be extremely cautious when directing part of their portfolio to cryptocurrency. Bitcoin has shown as a steady rise in value over the years as any other cryptocurrency. It's only reasonable for Bitcoin investors to be curious about how high it can ultimately go. Unfortunately, Bitcoin's prices is extremely difficult to predict and even more susceptible to market factors than more established asset classes. So let's look at Bitcoin prices and what to expect. Bitcoin price presents an opportunity to buy as it stoops to crucial support levels. This downsizing looks like a ploy from market makers to purge the sell side liquidity before triggering an uptrend. Bitcoin price crashed 7% since the April 21st swing, high at $42,988 and is currently hovering around $40,540. This downswing shows strength around the $40,100 to $40,500 support area, and investors can expect a bounce here. The resulting upswing will likely push BTC to retest a high at $41,152. If the bullish momentum is enough to produce a four-hour candlestick close above the weekly open at $42,137, there's a good possibility the run-up will continue until the Bitcoin price retests the $44,591. While the short-term outlook might seem bearish at first, the three-day chart indicates that the recent downswing has held firmly above the 203-day simple moving average SMA at $39,946. Investors can expect more accumulation on the recent dip, leading to a quick recovery. Market participants can expect the U-turn to make a run at the yearly open at $46,198 after shattering the 50-day and 100-day SMAs acting as blockades. In a bullish case, BTC is likely to continue climbing higher and retest the 200-day SMA at $47,997. BTC might even wick up to retest the $50,000 psychological level if the bullish momentum persists. The 30-day MVRV ratio intraday indicator is hovering around the local bottom at minus 8% from a shorter-term viewpoint. The last few times the ratio dipped this low, Bitcoin price set a local bottom and triggered a run-up. Moreover, the recent crash has put holders under loss, further alleviating any selling pressure. Therefore, if history repeats, BTC is likely to catalyze another move to $46,200 or higher, which coincides with the outlook described from a technical standpoint. The out-of-the-money GIOM model shows that the immediate hurdles up to the $44,000 are weak. Therefore, a quick surge in buying pressure could easily push BTC higher. 
The out-of-the-money investors that purchased nearly 3.4 million BTC at an average price of $47,454 are likely to pose a big threat to the upside. Interestingly, the upside limit for BTC from a technical perspective is also capped at around $47,998, also known as the 200-day SMA. While things are looking up for the big crypto, a breakdown of the $40,100 to $40,500 support area could send it crashing to $34,752. A daily candlestick close below this significant foothold will create a lower low and invalidate the bullish thesis. In this situation, BTC market makers might tug BTC to nosedive and collect the sell stops present below the $30,000 level. But what influences Bitcoin's prices? Scarcity. There are only 18 to 19 million Bitcoins currently in circulation and minting will stop at 21 million. Industry experts consistently point to this build-in scarcity as part of cryptocurrency's appeal. Other experts point out Bitcoin has value because people give it value. That's why everybody's buying, because of the psychological aspect, says Nelson Merchant, Johnson's light node media co-founder. That can make it difficult for the average consumer to discern whether Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are legitimate. The concept of supply and demand only works when people want something scarce, even if it previously didn't exist. Mainstream Adoption One of the main factors driving the price increase of Bitcoin is the rate at which new consumers are buying and exploring cryptocurrency. Crypto technology is being adopted faster than humans first adopted internet technology. Assuming it continues, the compounding acceleration of new adoption could keep pushing the value of Bitcoin higher and higher. Bitcoin adoption has been increasing at an annual rate of 113%, according to data from the digital asset management firm CoinShares. Meanwhile, people adopted the internet at a slower rate of 63%. If people warm up to Bitcoin at a comparable rate to that of the internet's early days or faster, the report makes the case that there will be 1 billion users by 2024 and 4 billion users by 2030. Regulation Federal officials have made it clear that they've been paying attention to crypto in recent months. Industry professionals have recently alluded to what crypto insiders perceive as hawkish federal regulation as one key driver for Bitcoin's lagging price. In a recent Coindesk First Mover interview, Seth Ginz, a coin fund managing partner, said the Fed moved to a hawkish position on crypto regulation just as Omicron started to tick up in the U.S., which could have increased doubt in crypto as a viable asset, resulting in January's bearish sentiments. Crypto regulations bring up a lot of unanswered questions. President Joe Biden recently signed an infrastructure bill requiring all crypto exchanges to notify the IRS of their transactions. Similarly, Treasury Secretary Janet Yelton recently said stablecoins, a type of crypto linked to the value of the U.S. dollar, should be subject to federal oversight. When China banned crypto in September 2021, for instance, investors saw the price of Bitcoin drop, though it has since risen and resumed its usual volatility. Even though there's now about a decade of precedent for Bitcoin, the Securities and Exchange Commission is taking all decisions on a case-by-case -case basis in what experts refer to as a crawl, walk, run strategy toward mainstream crypto adoption. Mining Cycles Finally, another major influence on Bitcoin's price is a cycle known as halving. It's complicated and algorithmic in nature, but in essence, halving is a step in the Bitcoin mining process that results in the reward for mining Bitcoin transactions getting cut in half. Having influences the rate at which new coins enter circulation, impacting the value of the existing Bitcoin holdings. Historically, having has correlated with boom and bust cycles. Some experts try to predict these cycles down to the day after a having event concludes.